Girl, what is going on? I'm the librarian. I'm and I came to read. read. All right, make sure y'all are staying up to date with everything. My ebook, y'all already know it's out for the culturepodcast.com. Keep your eye out for that because on Tuesday we will be releasing a new podcast talking about all the bullshit that's going on in the world. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. And make sure you go to patreon.com slash age expression and get in your life. Okay, I'm turning to Wonder Woman on you all because, bitch, it seems like we about to fight a war or something, girl. I'm ready. No, if you buck, Nazis, no, if you buck, you ready? If you bump, bitch, stop, is it no? Why not? I'm ready for you, hoes, okay? These Nazis right now are in Charlottesville right now, marching, talking about blood and soil, blood and soil. I, I know this is a serious topic. I know that it is depressing as hell. That shit made me angry as fuck. To really wake up out of all the bullshit that we're dealing with already, we waking up to this fucking march. White supremacist ass march in Charlottesville. It was very disheartening to wake up and see that. I'm talking about, I had a fun night at the club, twerked with my friends and shit. You know, I take my ass to sleep. I said, okay girl, I need to shut my ass up and sit my ass down. And then I wake up and see this shit trending on Twitter. In 2017, we have Nazi trending, the number two goddamn trend. Like we didn't fight a whole war to end this dumb ass shit. I'm talking about even in Germany, it's illegal to do some Nazi ass shit in there, bitch. Like uh, Jeffrey Lord's Darth Vader shit head ass. I don't know if y'all saw that shit, but he responded to somebody on Twitter with a Nazi slogan and that shit got completely out of hand. CNN said, girl, <laughs> CNN said, girl, you're out of here, bitch. There's a lot of shit that we can handle. We can handle your bald headed ass coming on here talking about some dumb shit. We can handle your ass saying some problematic shit on air and shit and getting clocked by people like Angela Ryan, shit like that. But what we can't handle, what we can't handle is their ass saying some Nazi ass slogans on Twitter acting like that shit is okay. And what that tells me is that he's so used to doing that shit. He is so used to doing that shit that it came out freely and came out naturally. What person in his right goddamn mind in a professional ass setting would think that, okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna spew that shit out and nothing can happen to me. These bitches are getting complacent. These bitches are getting comfortable and it's all because of the rhetoric that Donald Trump and his campaign are spewing and it is what it is and as I said I'm not blaming Donald Trump for racism I'm not blaming blaming him for all these Nazi ass people I'm not blaming him sweetheart because they were there already they had already been there their sentiments were made clear already but it's the fact that his ass is out there spewing this rhetoric and it's making them more comfortable in saying the shit out loud and so what I'm saying to them hoes is just like the mad king in Game of Thrones Burn them all! Burn all these hoes up! Get them out of here! Demolish these hoes! So that was my thinking, and so I woke up and I saw, you know, a, a car just plowing through some crowds, bitch, and I said, yes ma'am, honey! Yes, God! I thought that the car was plowing through these Nazis, so I was getting my life. Girl, no ma'am. Girl, no ma'am. They were plowing through the protesters, and I was like, oh shit! I don't understand what the hell is going on. I'm talking about these bitches came out there with Tiki! With Tiki Lantern, bitch, these, these hoes came out here with the shit that they hate. The culture, bitch, white people steal so much culture that they don't even realize that the culture that their asses are using while saying white lives matter came from a minority ass motherfucking culture, the same bitches that you hate. <laughs> tiki goddamn lights, Tiki lights, bitch. I am screaming. I'm talking about some of these racist white people, they, they march around the whole globe just snatching your culture. Snatch it, bitch. Snatch your culture, bitch. This, bitch, they snatch your culture, bitch. They snatch your, bitch. They snatch your culture, bitch. Bitch, they over here snatching your culture, bitch. They're snatching your, oh, bitch, this is cute, bitch. I need to wear this for the next video. They snatch your culture, bitch. I'm talking about they snatch your culture. Just snatch your culture, and they gonna turn around and say, go back to Africa. They gonna turn around and say, if you don't like it, then go back where you came from, as if them hoes didn't come over here snatching and stealing and raping and pillaging and infecting all types of native ass people who live here, girl. Sit your ass down, how dare you? And then y'all asses wanna get up in front of these motherfucking marshes talking about blood and soil. Blood and soil. White lives, Matt girl, no man. Sit y'all boo boo the fool built asses down. Sit y'all or zoo boom a fool built asses down. Sit y'all no lip having ass asses down. Sit y'all thin hair having asses down. Sit y'all no hairline having asses down somewhere. Sit y'all no ass plywood built asses down somewhere. Sit y'all no melanin. Sit y'all go go gadget. 
racism built ass down somewhere, okay? All jokes aside, I know that this can be very discouraging, as I said in the beginning of my video. But what you have to understand is that with progress comes the pushback, okay? That's the reason why we have this administration in the first place. Okay, we had a very strong, we had a consistent African-American president and the girls just got out of hand. The bitch, they're pre they were pressed, sweetie. So this is the white lash, the administration. With progress comes the bitches that want to stay in the same goddamn place for 200 years. We're not happy. And I saw on Twitter, somebody said, girl, why y'all hoes want to see a Confederate on HBO, girl? It's right here, sweetie, and you don't even have to pay for it. It's right here. We have, it's right here. I almost, I said white here, bitch. You caught that shit, but it is white here. It's white here, sweetheart. And you, while you're trying to pay for HBO to give y'all a Confederate ass motherfucking TV show, it's right there, sweetie. It's right there. You don't have to pay nothing for it, girl. It's free of charge, girl. All you have to do is uh, open Twitter, sweetie, and you'll see it, okay? These hoes are really marching out here. These hoes are really marching out here as if they are so goddamn oppressed. And somebody else, and it was a, I think it was a white gentleman who tweeted, you know, what if these people were as, were really as oppressed as they thought they were, okay? He, bitch, he broke that shit down. And I'm glad that certain white people are out here saying, you know what? I'm gonna break it down because it seems like when you hear it from the from the mouth of a minority, it's like y'all don't pay attention. So these white people say, girl, I'm gonna break this shit down, girl. She said, I wish that you hoes were as oppressed as you claim to be marching down these goddamn streets. There have been no laws that have been inhibiting your life chances. There have been no legalized taking up your goddamn land and shit. There's no one disenfranchising your ass. You, you all are not locked up disproportionately. He went down and broke that shit down and I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. These hoes really think that, and, and he said, the, the fear that these white people have is that they're not being held accountable. They're not the only voice in the world anymore, okay? They're being held accountable for their trash ass actions. They're not the only ones who have a say in things anymore. And they're being pressed, okay? And it's, they're viewing it as losing power. It doesn't make any sense for them to be viewing that shit like that, as opposed to, oh bitch, we have more people coming up to the level that they should have been a long time ago, and we have more people who can get more shit done. Allies type of tease, like giving other people platforms. Instead, they're viewing it as, oh girl, we're losing power, sis. Why are people so used to oppressing shit and keeping shit and enslaving shit that they don't know how to operate outside of those norms, okay? They don't know how to operate outside of, oh girl, she's my equal. Okay, he's my equal too, girl. That mentality kind of goes past, goes over their head. They don't know what to do with it. They're like, girl, what, I can't enslave anything now? I feel like that's why white people like dogs so much, girl. They got some, okay, that's a whole nother topic. But she's like, oh girl, I'm on my level now, sis. Wait a minute, I'm mad. Let's go to the streets. Let's start marching. Ah, uh, white lives matter. Ah, uh, yeah, Nazis and shit. Girl, these hoes are out. I'm talking about these hoes are out here in full motherfucking, bitch, they got whole guns in this bitch. I wish I had a gun prop, bitch, but I'm black because I'm so black I don't even have a water gun in this bitch, ho. I don't want nobody coming in my motherfucking car no shit saying, oh, bitch, that's a gun, no bitch. I don't have nothing that looks like a gun in this motherfucker, so I can't even have a prop. But these hoes came out here, bitch, let me use something, bitch. I got to use something, bitch. Oh, this is mine. This is Yeti mic. Okay, I can make it look like a motherfucking gun. Okay, here we go, bitch. Them hoes came out here looking like, oh, bitch. We, they are marching in the streets with whole motherfucking machine guns and shit. And we're out looking like, oh, bitch, this is expensive, bitch. Hold on. I'm looking like, bitch, if that had been a black, if these people came out here and they were black as fuck with all these guns and armor type of tees just marching around, bitch, they would have been dragged and shot. But these hoes out here talking about, oh, gosh, my right. What the fuck are y'all going to do? Y'all marching around with these guns and shit. Sit your asses down. I'm sick and tired of seeing these bitches all the time in the media. I'm tired of waking up every goddamn day and something new pops off. I'm tired of this trash ass rhetoric that Donald Trump is spewing because of his empty ass head bitch serving me all type of sandpaper scalp tees. I'm over it. I'm tired of everything that's going on. But sweetie, as I said, with progress comes the backlash. But girl, trouble don't last always. I'm ready. The, uh, the bitch, the resistance needs to come in full force. I'm glad that people are out there trying to protest. I'm so upset that a car came smashing through their ass. It don't make no sense, sweetie. But this will soon be over. It's over now. I'm telling you now, okay? These old white hoes, they gonna die. They're going to pass the fuck away, and we got to make sure that we are educating ourselves, we're informing ourselves, we're becoming more awake, you know, more progressive, we are more inclusive. We have to make sure that we are enhancing ourselves by informing ourselves about different cultures and different societies and different ways of life so that we can make sure that everyone 
feels included in the society so that we won't pass down this trash ass white supremacy for too much longer, okay? That's all we got to do. That's what we need to focus on. I'm sorry that this shit happened. And I'm sorry that everybody who was marching with this white lives matter Nazi ass shit looks like they've been chewing on roof shingles for 23 goddamn years. Find a dentist and stop chain smoking. Have a good goddamn evening, girl.